now the next step we need to go to our uh, aspx file now we need to go to the behind code of this to go to the behind code just simply click on the f7 or just double click on this button you will go to behind code so now the next step just to import the sql namespace to do that just say right just type using system dot data using system dot data dot sql client yeah. one more namespace to import the connection string from the web config file for that system dot configuration yes now let's create the sql connection string so let's create a sql connection objectcon equal to new sql connection configuration dot I think it is configuration manager dot connection strings now let's add the connection string name that is let's go to our web config file and see the connection string name that is c o n n to string let's take this out here the semicolon let's build and check if any error no error good so now we need to create uh, the insert part means we need to write the code for insert part now for that what I will do I'll go to my screen that is demo dot using dot store procedure dot ASPX okay I will select my button because I'm going to write my insert code in this button click because if I add the data in the customer name text box if I add the data in the customer address text box and what I want when I click on this button the insert should happen so I will write the code on this button click so yes so what I will do I will say I'll create and say if my txt customer name dot text is not equal to empty what I want the insert should happen to do the insert I need to open up my connection here to open up the connection obj con dot open now I need to write my SQL command that is SQL command equal to obj command equal to new SQL command so we need to select our store procedure because we are written the store procedure so we need to select the store procedure name to select the store procedure name we need to go to the store procedure say usp add update customer and let's add that name here 
comma the connection that is obj con yes and the command type is store procedure so we need to specify that obj command dot command type is equal to command type dot store procedure so now we need to create the parameter for customer id customer name and customer address so let's create the parameter now that is sql parameter cust id equal to obj command dot parameters dot add let's add the parameter name so i will add a customer id here SQL DB type is my integer, so so we'll say int. Yes. So we'll set this customer ID as zero because I want to do the insert here. same way we need to create the parameter for customer name and customer address let's assign this customer name dot value is as equal to our the txt customer name so let's select the name from the source here that is txt customer name let assign this value to my txt customer name dot text same way we need to do for the address also customer address let's select the parameter name from the store procedure Now finally we need to say obj command dot execute non query to do the insert and update. We we use execute uh, non query because it, it it returns null records means it it returns no records. So we use this execute non query method for insert and update purpose. So finally we need to say obj connection we are done with our command so we are done with everything now we need to close our connection string so we need to finally say obj connection dot close yes now let's check an error let's go to our build and build this once no errors now I am going to put in the breakpoint here let's see how the step by step happens how the insert happens step by step so 
so I'll go to my form here and just start compiling let's add some value here I will say customer name as a request form customer address as Mumbai I'll add let's say let's add the today's date also okay let's add like this only and say customer guru add the new record 